Hey guys, how you doing? This is Manga Research, and I'm here today to bring a review from My Hero Academia, Manga Chapter 290, and now, at the end of the day, all this chapter is about is the big reveal of Debbie being a Todoroki, and now, if I'm completely honest, if I'm completely honest, this doesn't come as a surprise to me, and that's simply because the fan base of my academia, they like they just basically upright ruined by surprise, and that's because of all the theory, be it on forums, be it on YouTube videos, simply hinting towards this from very early on and being updated, uh, updated as things go on. And now, I personally try to stay away from theory videos for any series that I'm. Involved in especially One Piece, especially One Piece, and that's simply because I would rather something being revealed to me within the series than through if I catch it myself through all the hints and clues and stuff out there that's sprinkled within to the series, then fair enough for me. Well done, me. But you know, just hearing it from somebody else. It just ruins the surprise. I do like it when you come across a theory, there's evidence supported the theory, but the theory ends up turns out to be wrong. I in fact I love that, especially when it comes out within the series and it's better than what was predicted. I love that. But you can never know what you're gonna get if if it's gonna be spot on, if it's gonna be wrong, and you know, just if what you end up getting at the end of the day is better than the theory itself. So for those reasons, I try to stay away from theories as much as possible. But unfortunately, in this day and age when we rely on the internet for everything, it is hard to surf the net without coming across something accidentally. So the surprise of found it, finding out that, that Dabby is a Todoroki it wasn't there, it wasn't hitting, it wasn't hitting, and that's simply like, because of what I said just not too long ago, but we find that out within the chapter, and you're basically finding out, you know, what led him to be the man he is today, and what he's aiming for, basically, and at the end of the day, it's just he's got daddy issues, <laughs> he's got daddy issues, daddy issues, you can say he's jealous, as well, but yeah, daddy, daddy issues and jealous really because he knows why he was born. He, he knows what his dad endeavor was trying to achieve. Uh, he was trying, you know, we we already know the um why he married his wife and what he was trying to achieve and all that blah blah blah. blah. And obviously, Dabby was the first attempt at this, and you know, he's no he's no Shoto, so you know. And never tried again, kind of thing. And obviously, we get to see how this made him feel. And you know, he felt some some sort of way about this. He was angry. He's not. He was not happy with how things treated. He feels neglected, and oh, rightly so. Rightly so. Should he feel neglected to the point that he wants to now kill Daddy? Just, I don't know. I'm not. You know, I'm not in this position, so I'm not one to judge this position. You know, if you haven't been in a certain position by yourself, you know, you shouldn't be judging others for their actions, you know, and if you haven't been in a certain position but in yourself, you shouldn't be offering advice, that's the way I feel about it, so maybe he is in his right mind to think, yeah, gonna kill daddy, gonna kill daddy, so that's basically what we get within this chapter, find out the truth or the reveal of daddy, how he feels about his life, basically, and what he now wants to do, which is kill uh, Daddy Dearest, who's on site. Uh, other than that, we do find uh, Shiggy, he's in a very bad way right now, there's not much he can do. He's been said to be on death's door. We do have an attack by Shoto and uh, the girl from the top three, if I get her name. Uh, he pretty much tanked that. And <laughs> Doesn't seem to have done any effect on him, but yeah, he's still on Death's Door. So he is very durable for a guy who came out half cooked, or three quarters cooked, or however cooked he was. I'm just saying. Uh, Bakugo, who does have, I think it was just one line, 
seems to have some sort of plan. Maybe not a plan, but he's not done yet. Even though he said he was struck within the vitals, he's still good to go, knows what needs to be done here. And because he's not down and out, because he's not dead, he still wants to fight, which is cool. Um, but yeah, that was about it. The majority of the chapter was taken up through Dabby stuff. And this was revealed to Shoto and Deva and whoever else they're present via Dabby. But we find out also that this was also being broadcast worldwide through the net and TV. Um, I don't know when he had time to record said video and you know, sort all that kind of stuff out. And I also don't know why he picked today. Maybe all of that will be revealed later on. But for now, that's what it is what it is. Because, you know, there was no shock factor and that's our fault, not the mangaka's fault. Uh, I can only give it free star rating. Yeah, sorry guys. Of course, guys, I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you have not already, please go to my YouTube channel. Most importantly, take care. Have a nice day.